Imagine two people at the same dinner table. Same food, same conversation, same two hours. But one walks away thinking it flew by, and the other feels like it dragged on forever. Here's the mind-bending truth. We don't just experience time differently. We actually live in different versions of it. And it all depends on how your brain builds reality. Time isn't universal, it's personal. We like to think of time as objective. 60 seconds is 60 seconds, right? Not really. Psychologists call this subjective time, and it can stretch, shrink, or even vanish depending on who you are and what you're feeling. Your internal clock is influenced by your personality, your mood, your memory encoding, even how fast your neurons fire. That means two people can be in the same moment, but processing time completely differently. Fast minds versus slow minds. Some people have what's called a fast time perspective. They tend to speak quickly, interrupt often, multitask, and get frustrated when things drag. They live ahead of the moment, constantly forecasting. Others have a slow time perspective. They're more present, observant, sensitive to silence. They pause between thoughts. Time doesn't rush them, it flows through them. This isn't about IQ or ambition. It's about how your brain processes input and creates rhythm. Your personality shapes to your time-time perception is deeply linked to your psychological makeup. Anxious people often feel like time is running out. Every second feels heavier. Depressed people experience time as painfully slow. Optimists? Time feels lighter, even faster. Creative minds tend to lose time in flow, as if it disappears. There's even a term for this. Temporal dissonance, when your brain's clock doesn't match the world's clock. So next time someone says, that hour flew by and you felt like it was eternal, you're both right. Because you're living in different time realities. Real life examples you felt ever wonder why. Kids feel summers last forever, but adults blink and it's fall again. Vacations feel short while boring meetings feel endless. Trauma makes moments freeze while joy makes them vanish? That's not memory. That's your brain's time rendering engine. You're not measuring time, you're feeling it. And your emotional intensity, attention and novelty filter how long it feels. So the more emotionally engaged you are, the more time stretches. The more detached, distracted or routine you are, the more time disappears. What this means for you? You and I might live on the same planet but not in the same time reality. And that's powerful. Because if you understand how time is constructed, not measured, you can change how you experience life itself. So here's the takeaway. Want to slow down time? Add novelty and presence. Want to escape the rush? Drop multitasking. Want to stretch your life experience? Feel more. Notice more. Live deeper. Because the more you're aware of your time, the more of it you actually feel like you have. If this shifted how you see reality, even just a little, hit like, drop a comment and subscribe. Because we're not just talking science here, we're rebuilding how you experience your own mind.